all these different children, baby daddies, all this stuff. Because y'all don't know what y'all purpose is as a woman. Y'all were made to be a wife, to be under a man, to be a lady, to be a mother. Your purpose is not... Welcome back to the Anthony Spade channel. Before I get started, I would not be talking about all women, even though it feels like it. And if it feels like I'm talking about you, you need to check yourself because I'm only talking about bad women that do bad things to good guys and teach the good guys how to spot the bad women. Also, you have to understand, words only hurt whenever they're the truth. Nigga, what? Right? You're looking for the music to the intro and you want the link to the second channel. Both are below in the description. But can you do me a favor? Hit the notifications button right now. All right, guys. Today, you're going to be watching two videos. And these are my two favorite reaction videos that I have ever done. They're oldies but goodies. But these are the two videos that I want you to take. And I want you to send this to as many as people as you want. Now... What do I want you to learn from this video? In these videos, I want you to learn that there are a lot of women out there that understand and think the way we think and understand exactly how we feel that they want to be able to tell other women what's going on. But other women do not like to listen to other women unless another woman is giving her a compliment. Outside of the compliments, women are pretty much narcissists to each other. So as long as they're giving each other compliments, then they're friends. The moment one starts to be honest with the other, typically when girls start to change their friends, and you'll notice throughout your life, women are always gaining a new friend because not every woman wants to continue to tell lies. But women love lies because they don't like accountability. Well, these girls right here, it's gonna be a different ball game. Let's get to it. Stop breaking up with your man. If you're married, stop threatening that man with divorce. Every time he do something so small, be ready to throw the whole nigga away. Be ready to throw your whole husband away. You know, it could have got damn well that's the best man that y'all ever had in your whole lifetime. And then you walk around like your shit don't stink. Like you don't come with flaws. Like you don't have issues that blow out of your heart. Nigga, what? And it's like, come on, man. Y'all on this independent high horse i had everything before i met him i had my shit together but if you were so independent then you take your single ass over there and you be lonely y'all cannot expect for me and not to make mistakes for me and not to but we women are stronger emotionally we are more stronger mentally but you talking about somebody who is the foundation of the house now, she just has that black women syndrome where she feels like they're just strong you know what I mean? No matter what mm -hmm. happens, they're just strong. She ain't realizing, like, that's the cover-up. A lot of women could be addicted. She's addicted to the cover-up. That's why they said we're stronger emotionally and mentally. I may say to these, I'll probably say 21 and, and younger, women are stronger than these guys. But most guys over 25 nowadays, they're red-pilled. They're red-pilled out. You know what I'm saying? Right. So she's actually talking about guys that I'll probably say this young, younger generation is like that. All right, let's get back to it. House, who is your leader, supposed to be your leader. But y'all too busy trying to be independent. Y'all want to lead. Y'all don't want to follow. You want to be the man in the, you want to be the man and the woman. Whatever happened to being feminine? Treat like masculine men because you carry yourself like a masculine man. You want to be a wife. You can't even make a good girlfriend. Y'all got to learn to be a little bit more su submissive and a whole lot more understanding. There are, things, there are more temptations that we as women are able to resist that may be a little bit more challenging for a man. Yes, he loves you. Yes, he wants to spend the rest of his life with you. Yes, he give you the world. But sis, come on now, let's be realistic. Y'all be ready to throw y'all nigga away. You over here mad because he done moved down long before you did. This because you thought your shit was good. All of Facebook, most of Facebook, the women keep talking about Cardi B divorcing her husband because um, he cheated on her so many times and they're so happy that she made this movement to leave her husband who has cheated on her so much and that's very courageous of her. For one, that's one of the reasons why you women today can't keep a man nor find a husband nor keep a husband because y'all mindset is about the terms of a husband and what a wife is. For one, Cardi B is a ex a 
She was never going to find a good husband. That's why she got a husband like Offset. He's a clown. Any woman, she wouldn't even, I wouldn't, as a woman personally, I wouldn't even want to be seen walking in public with him. The way he looked, the way he dressed, the way he acted. I don't care how much money he has. He could be a trillionaire. If there's a woman that motivates you for a man, then something wrong right there too. You should want a man who is, um, his, where his mind. I got all these women cussing me out on this post. That's why I went live. So hopefully they get on my page and hear me out. But, um, she, uh, then a woman on top of that who's always naked, showing her body parts. What, what, what would make a woman think that that's okay? I mean, we got so far off into the world that's 2020 that the now new okay is what God said that, that bad would be considered good. That, that good would be, would be considered evil. That all you black women that y'all have this mindset and y'all won't change it. Y'all won't even take the time out to think to change it. What nigga gonna be faithful who acts like Cardi B? So come on, y'all promoting her divorce, her husband divorce for, for one ain't never good. If you should practice forgiveness, but even if so, the most high do say that you can divorce for fornication. That is okay to leave somebody if they fornicate on you, they commit adultery. But a lot of you women are so big on leaving y'all man. So big on y'all got this mindset that the white man taught y'all that it's okay to leave your husband over the stupidest shit. I fight for my marriage to this day. We don't deal with any infidelity. But the things that we do get into it about, you know how many people tell us to divorce? That's how evil the world is. Over petty shit because we fighting or getting into it. Um, divorce. No, that's not no real marriage. It's not no. You don't. You 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 work stuff out. But then y'all have to understand too what kind of woman Cardi is. She was never wife material. Y'all are so embarrassing. The way y'all think. Y'all don't want to be wives. That's your whole purpose as a human. That's confused out here, depressed, all these different children, baby daddies, all this stuff. Because y'all don't know what y'all purpose is as a woman. Y'all were made to be a wife, to be under a man, to be a lady, to be a mother. Your purpose is not no career, going to school, being a model, being all this dumbass worldly shit. It is to be a wife. A good one at that. That is our purpose as black women. Not talking to any other race. I'm so sick and tired of it. I'll, I'll go live and express my feelings. I don't give a damn. I'll express it because I have people who actually listen. Y'all are embarrassing. Change y'all mindset. Teach y'all daughters better. To think better than what y'all are saying now. Read. Just go back and read some of the shit y'all say. And... Think of it, what would God say? In the midst of y'all reading the shit y'all say, what would God say? Honestly, y'all all, all y'all black women supporting the whore. Her wop ain't keep no nigga. Did it. Y'all I have I went to go see my daughter, my little sister singing, um, yeah, I don't cook, I don't clean, yeah, I got this ring. And she was proud saying it. Like, yeah, I can I can grow up and don't gotta do none of that shit and get a husband. Not even seeing the significance in what she's saying as a ten year old little girl. That's embarrassing. Then you grown women walking around here singing the shit, playing the shit in y'all car, and literally taking the mindset of all these whores, mulatto, Megan, half of them transgenders, um, Nikki. Y'all think that having their mindset is tight or cool. The way y'all think is whack. It's retarded. It's dumb. It's embarrassing. It's ignorant. Stupid. Damn. Y'all don't sit back and think. It's stupid. L listen to the lyrics. I'll be sometimes, I listen to the music sometimes, so I listen to black music. But as I'm listening to it, I think about how stupid they sound. Like, damn, when I was real worldly, you know, I like the beat, I groove to it. But as you listen to what they're saying, like, damn, that shit, stupid. They, they sound like whores. All y'all role models are whores. Kim Kardashian, all and Lexus Scott, all y'all role models are whores. All you, how all you women walk around here getting y'all lashes, wigs done, nails done, all this stuff y'all mimic is coming from whores. Y'all are not millionaires. None of y'all. I know all of y'all. Fort Wayne from Georgia. Air niggas, we are broke. We don't have millions of dollars. Even if we do got good money, we still ain't living like that. We can't take pictures every day in new outfits and shit with them grooming 
tricked and whored for. And y'all envy it. Y'all want to be like it. Y'all mimic it. Y'all teaching y'all daughters to be like it. The dance like it. Y'all, I'm going to parties, uh, family reunions and shit and, and kid parties. And I hear big old freak playing in the background. And, and Nikki and, and WAP. And y'all recording y'all kids dancing with them like it's cute. And I'm like, dang God, thank you for pulling me from that shit. That I can actually see and open my eyes like, this shit is wrong. Hell no, my daughter can't listen to no goddamn WAP. Not around me. That's how y'all women should think. Y'all embarrassing. I'm ignorant. And I'm tired of it. Not tell any of this to her face. Because that's what y'all are. So no, Tupac was right. We can't get mad if they call us bitches. Because that's how y'all act. That's exactly how every single one of y'all act. I very rarely meet women like me. Very rarely. And when I do, I salute her. But black women, y'all embarrassing. Y'all embarrassing the way y'all mother. Y'all embarrassing the way y'all portray yourselves. Y'all embarrassing the way y'all act. Period. And y'all get on these black men. Y'all talk about our, our black men. But y'all play a huge part of that. It, at the end of the day, we can say all day, men cheat, niggas cheat, and do this and that. And take a bitch to open her legs at the end of the day. For that man to cheat, it always falls on the woman, period. Because we have a certain way to be and to think. And every day I fight to be like that. I know my purpose. My purpose is to be a wife and to be a woman of God. That is my purpose. My whole desire belongs to my husband. Every day I wake up trying to figure out how to please him, how to love him. Even when we fight and he wrong, I'm, I'm fixing the shit. Because that's my destiny. That's what God put me on this earth to be, a mother and a wife. You black women are embarrassing. Talking about one girl, I said, what I say? I said, um, I said she was never wife material to begin with. It's an ex-stripper we talking about. She on there talking about some, oh, so what? Just because she's a stripper, you don't know how it is to go out there and, um, and have to take care of kids. You will find any kind of work to pay bills. If I have to sell my pussy, I take off my clothes in order to get it's pitful. I will go work at McDonald's. I will go find any kind of job that's low pay before I ever take off my clothes and sell my pussy. So women, that's not an excuse. You do that because you want to do that. That's the whore in you. That's why they're strippers. It ain't no because, oh, I got to find a way to pay my bills. There's a million jobs out here. And if taking off your clothes and, and selling your pussy is a way to make money, you're pitiful. And there's no excuse about it. And you're a whore in God's eyes. And you will burn in the lake of fire. And black women, y'all have the most fucked up mindset. And how I can prove it, facts, Eve. She was, she was the one that fucked us all. Think about it.